G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I've just um, done some modifications to my AC fan motor. Yes, I've, um, I'm going to be mounting the disc on the back side of the motor so I get an anti-clockwise rotation instead of clockwise. And um, yeah, I've, um, I've hacksawed off the, the long end of the motor shaft just for convenience and I've also hacksawed off the uh, stalk as well that that this um, was initially on this motor to mount onto the fan pole don't know where it is at the moment but now yeah, that's no longer there and yeah I've got the motor running um, and yeah it's running quite rapidly and I believe it will do quite a nice job at rotating the disc and producing a good picture hopefully <laughs> I know um, yeah when I was mucking around this motor earlier on um, yeah I'd, uh, I accidentally dropped the motor and, and it fell into the concrete I think and um, yeah the uh, one of the windings broke off and yeah this motor wasn't working I thought oh dear I lost the motor <laughs> so I what I did was I put a bit, of, I pulled the two broken um, coil wires um, apart. I put a bit of tape over the over the other windings and um, stuck a wire link between, soldered a wire link between the two uh, broken coil wires, and yeah, it fixed the problem. Botched job, but did the job. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yep, I've uh, modified this motor and. Oh yeah, by uh, hacksawing the stalk off and the long end of the shaft, I've um, I've sawn off some hinges so I can make so I can use them as mounts to mount this motor onto a block of wood, which I, as you can see there, um, which I'm going to be mounting onto this box, a half box, shall I say. This is what I'll be mounting the large, um, the motor, uh, the large mechanical televisor on. Um, yeah, I initially used this box as, as like a uh, baking light box to bake my videotapes, which failed miserably. So I've been sort of, so I've uh, pretty much sawn it off a bit, you know, used pieces of wood for other applications, but this one, I've decided to use this end of the box to for my mechanical televisor so what's going to be happening is um give me a moment just going to do the wires from the terminals and yeah what's going to be happening is, is um, i'm going to mount this onto some box of wood which will um sit on this mechanical televisor on, on sorry onto this piece of wood and I'm going to have it positioned roughly about here, so so there's a bit of space between the the box and the mechanical disc. And the disc is going to be mounted on here. Oh yeah, I've put a a wooden nut on there, which I you know self tapped because <laughs> I did not have a suitable size nut to fit on on this uh, threading here of the shaft. So yeah, the disc is going to go on here. It's going to be stuck to the so the nut, well, I think, yeah, so glue will probably do the job nicely. And yeah, it's going to be mounted there, and um, it's going to be mounted on some blocks of wood. I'll probably be mounting them on these, and then these are going to be um, nailed into the box. And that'll be that part of the job done. And then I'm going to, yeah, find a suitable place to mount the... Um, the light source box to which the we'll see the picture on um, when the disc is scanning and I'm debating on whether to make it um horizontal scan or vertical scan. I I kinda want to make a vertical scan because it kinda looks a bit better in vertical mode but no horizontal mode I meant but uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyhow yeah, this um this is where I'm at with the project. And I'll keep you updated with further updates. It's Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out. See you all.